I mean, don't get me wrong, the place definitely comes with a lovely view, but I, I feel like this isn't what I wanted in life. And I'm pretty sure I'm stuck. I'm rooftop stuck in a jar of piss. It's like R. Kelly meets 127 hours. What's up guys, welcome back to I Am Fish, where with each passing episode, our plans for global fish domination become a little bit more extreme. Like some of you guys may remember last episode, we hijacked an airport, which did definitely help us recruit another fish to the cause, but I think it also got the video suppressed and me put on some kind of government watch list. But either way, it means today we're moving on to a new fish. Somebody else is gonna answer the call. I'm just not 100% sure who. Oh, it's green fish. Or toothy fish? We don't really know. They don't exactly wear name tags or have the ability to introduce themselves. All we know is that they're constantly dreaming about their little fish family. Okay, I get it. You don't need to tug on my heartstrings at the beginning of every episode. I'm trying here. There's plenty of time. As you can see, I'm sure we're gonna get that signal from Goldie any second now. There you go, he's telling all aquatic warriors to rise up and overthrow the land oppressors. <laughs> Even though I gotta say, it really feels like Flying Fish's talent was more useful when it comes to escaping. Nobody's gonna take a deep sea predator seriously when he's cockeyed and trapped in a bubble. Now, don't get me wrong, I don't want you to leave the bubble. We need to keep the bubble intact. You, you need to remain moister than an oyster, rather than drying out faster than a pair of granny panties. What did I just say? Like, yeah, great, you're still wet, but we can't exactly roll a sink down to the ocean. So I'm guessing this is where the teeth come into play. Maybe we can toss our body weight around. I mean, we may not have much of it, but definitely enough to go ahead and ruin somebody's day. <laughs> Do you see what I mean about our methods getting more and more extreme? I mean, yeah, now we can move around more easily, but if the water can't escape this room, then how am I supposed to? Like, something tells me this isn't gonna happen anytime soon. Okay, we may be onto something here. Like, this cupboard has a slightly soggy crumb of bread, which in itself isn't really much, but this cupboard seems to be a murder scene? I mean, in all reality, if the owner's crumpled, decapitated bodies shoved into this cabinet, then at least the flood would only be the second worst thing to happen to them today. Oh, we got another shoddily repaired pipe. Do I grab hold of you and shake around? That sounds promising. That looks promising. Okay, yeah, can, can I maybe find my way out of here now? I ate the bread, I should be smarter. Don't tell me the water has made it so that I, I can't push it open. Okay, no, we're good. <laughs> now what? I mean, I could possibly eat the sandwich off that table if we get the water a little higher. Or ask it for help. I mean, we've been in kitchens with peppy music and escape artist bread in the past. Huh. It turns out I didn't fully think this plan out. <laughs> Definitely dodged a bullet. Got a little bit lucky there. Still, it's just a little bit away from being able to grab this. I'm so freaking close. We need more water. And I might be able to get water out of a radiator, right? Water flows through these, so if I could just... Bite a hole in it. Are you telling me that this tiny fish can't bite a hole through a cast iron radiator? Why is this game so unrealistic? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be quite enough water for what we're trying to achieve here. But maybe the dishwasher? It's got a red handle that seems to indicate that I can interact with things. Okay. Uh, I'm telling you, I I'm a plumber's wet dream at this point. I if we don't end up making the surface dwellers pay for their transgressions, then there are definitely business opportunities for me to dive into. Quite literally. <laughs> the water raises up even further, and yet this door still doesn't buckle under the weight. It, it just doesn't make any sense. It's like watching Rosie O'Donnell walk around in high heels. You have to question the physics of things. Oh, I thought they were gonna at least leave this to be a little bit difficult, but 
You know, this is an easy slam dunk. Uh, excuse me? Don't tell me fish can't operate doors, or is this a push door instead of a pull door? Crap. You know what? Maybe if you could operate a door, then yeah, I would reward you with an extra, extra, extra moist ham sandwich. But you can't. So I guess instead, you're just going to have to use your head as a battering ram. Because I'm seeing a broken window over here with your face's name on it. No? Maybe we do need to eat the sandwich? Get a little bit more cushion for pushing? Oh, well, that's clever. Okay, fine. Yeah, I, I guess a hammer would make a better battering ram than your scaly face. Oh, I, I, I didn't even think about what would happen after we escape. It's a good thing there was another conveniently placed piss jar outside this window. And now, oh, we need to deal with traffic? Okay, well, uh, no better time like the present. I, I guess we're just gonna go ahead and steer, steer, steer. Not off to a great start out in this great big world. Surprise, surprise, that toothy grin isn't worth a wooden nickel once you're rolling down a hill against traffic. Turn. Oh, why don't we just get up on the sidewalk? Would it, it'd be a whole lot safer up on the sidewalk. I'm just saying you don't need to be able to walk to use a sidewalk, damn it. I've said it before and I'll say it again. The objective of this game is not to be the consistency of something that can be spread on crackers. So I would much rather not be under the front wheel of a hippie van. Let's just stay over here, right up against the wall. I, I don't care if they're little pebbles, they're perfectly fine. This is our piss jar. We're minding our own business. Everybody screw off. I don't know where this is leading, but it's definitely better than where I am. Okay. <laughs> Great. Now what? Of course these rooftops don't look particularly fish accessible. <laughs> you know what? It's fine. Okay, we're gonna make do. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. Or in our case, when life pisses all over you, then you swim in it. <laughs> if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I just assume that if you find a mystery jar of liquid on the side of the road, that an Amazon worker wasn't far behind, and a very hydrated Amazon worker at that. <laughs> Can I maybe straighten this out just a little bit? Like, you have to do opposites. It's like using inverted controls to swim. It just doesn't really work that way. If you want to push one way, then you gotta go the other way. Stop, 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 for the love of Christ, stop. No, I don't want the rails. This is not good. And I'm not just talking about the cracks. I mean, don't get me wrong, the place definitely comes with a lovely view, but I feel like this isn't what I wanted in life. And I'm pretty sure I'm stuck. I'm rooftop stuck in a jar of piss. It's like R. Kelly meets 127 hours. Okay, here we go, here we go. I really don't like that wobble. Why are these rails conveniently just wide enough for a jar to slip through? <laughs> Who designed this place? Here we go, here we go, little treehouse girl. Please help me. <laughs> but love of Christ, you have no idea how difficult it is to control a jar. I would have an easier time ice skating uphill. Anything? Anything at all? Okay, fine. Screw me, I guess. <laughs> I'll be adding you to my list. Just you wait. The fish uprising is coming. Uh, should I be concerned with the fact that I'm now being shown a portrait of a seagull receiving a surprised enema? <laughs> and it's getting louder? Angrier? Both? Uh, it, it's probably fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Okay, uh, you know what? I don't really want to become seagull poop today. So how about we just return to the safety of underneath the bench? It's not safe. <laughs> <laughs> we got problems here, folks. Well, the bad news is the seagulls and the children seem to be in cahoots. But the good news is they both have very similar attention span. If I remain completely still, they leave me alone. And I would imagine seagulls are probably very near the sea. It looks a lot more like a river to me, but I would take it over a jar. So just going to carefully let my momentum roll. Not gonna wiggle around in the jar too much. Everything is fine. Okay, yeah, this is gonna make things a lot more complicated, but 
<laughs> I just gotta take it slow and steady. Also because I'm willing to bet this jar does not have a whole lot left in it. We may honestly be able to use these cracks to our advantage because I want to break out of this thing sooner rather than later, right? Preferably landing in the river. So, so long as I can get over there, then we'll be in business. Uh, what is this? Is that a stairwell? Oh no, I can't do stairs. <laughs> it's down there. Oh, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Everything is completely fine. We may need to jump. When I say jump, I actually mean fall, and something tells me I'm not going to be able to fall across that road. I'm a fish, not a chicken, so how about we try going over this way? Looks like there's a little platform for me to cross. I gotta say, even though I'm just a couple of quick movements away from swimming in shards of glass or being digested by a bird, moving slow and steady is quite relaxing. It's very nice for a change. Okay, we've got rails. I can do rails. <laughs> just gotta manifest that real quick. Oh, with this many cracks, it doesn't feel good though. <laughs> Come on, okay, nice, nice and slow. We're just gonna- we're gonna try to control it. Try our best. Oh! Okay, the seagulls are gone! The seagulls being gone seems like a good thing. Are they gone for good? Oh, I hate the wobble. <laughs> gentle, gentle. Oh, okay! That's a big win! The river has to be right here, doesn't it? That looks an awful lot like river to me. So, we're just gonna gun it? Give it all we got. Come on now, give her bickies. We gotta go all the way off the edge through the pot. Yes. Oh. You feather Judas. What do you mean? No. We were right there. This homeowner had better make it perfectly clear to their insurance that the seagulls are to blame. It's not me. I didn't want to be in this house. I'm just trying to survive. I wanted to end up in the river. I wanted the ocean. I wanted to jump onto a floor that was full of water. Tub, could you help me out? Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little bit presumptive there. A little bit overzealous. You know what they say? Don't assume. It uh, makes you dead. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, I knew there was water and radiators. <laughs> Perfect, man. This town's plumber is a complete ass. It's unbelievable. And again, I'm assuming the door isn't gonna work, so... Oh. Yeah, that's a possibility. Please stop clogging the toilet. Shit, is it clogged right now? It's one easy way of finding out. <laughs> go ahead, grab this and then just try to swing ourselves over this way. Okay, no, no, we got lots of time. It's gonna be a long flush, I'm sure. In, in oh! No, it's, it's clogged. Wait, I can probably go down there and unclog it. Should I go down here and unclog it with my mouth? This seems like a mistake. Am I missing something? Because like, they're clearly missing something. Who has a toilet that constantly gets clogged but doesn't leave a plunger next to it? If I had a plunger, I'd have a whole lot easier time fixing things than with my mouth. Maybe I can find one under here? That'd be pretty unsanitary. No? Oh. They have red toilet paper, which seems awfully coincidental. I need to clog the toilet myself. All right, we'll uh, put you there, and then uh, maybe we can flush it without us in it? and then that'll raise the water up even further. I see. I was just assuming that we would be able to use the toilet as our ticket out of here, but that's probably better. Okay, clever, I suppose. Water goes up and, uh, oh, we might be able to get into that room if we can raise it further. Again, we're just a, a little short. You'd think I'd just be able to constantly flush the toilet and that would raise the water up high enough, but no, we gotta go about it the hard way. <gasps> Assuming I can reach this. Ooh, oh, that's that's doable. You know what, I think that might actually be, mm, no, maybe not. Come on, come on, little fish. I know I've been making fun of your hops all episode, but I've seen you jump that far. Do it, do it, ah, son of a. Oh, there we go, perfect. Way to go, little guy, I knew you had it in you. Now we just rip this off. Oh, okay. 
There, that has to raise it up enough, right? Hopefully we can now jump through to that room. Come on, come on, come on. Again, no idea what's in that room. Oh, wait, that might, that's outside. Of course it is, I'm stupid. All right, one final jump, come on. Well, isn't that anticlimactic? Why does everything in this game, including gravity, hate me? I don't understand. <laughs> Maybe I need a little bit more water. Something like this. Just gonna go ahead and, and make it a freebie? Fine, I'll take freebies. Now, hear me out. That is definitely not water, right? That's a deck. I don't fare well on decks, so I probably don't want to jump out there. But there's another window with a conveniently placed seagull arse. Wouldn't mind taking a bite out of you, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> Maybe you'd be willing to fly me to where I need to go? Come on, big guy. Oh, oh so close. <gasps> no idea what's coming for you. Oh, here we go. Yes, freedom. <laughs> Should I let go? I don't really want to. I kind of want to rip the legs off you. Come on. Okay, no, we're letting go. We're letting go. We're not getting greedy. Oh, thank Christ. <laughs> Almost got greedy there. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We're good. All right. You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of I Am Fish, guys. I really want to try getting two levels in per episode moving forward because I've come to realize that I can only fit one as it is right now. And that means that the series is going to go on like into next year. And I really want to see how it ends. I'm so invested in the whole Bosa Studios universe with I Am Bread and Surgeon Simulator being a part of whatever this is. But it means that I might need to speed up the pace. I might need to cut things out. And if you guys want to see that, then as always, be sure to leave a like this video. Leave a comment letting me know, and maybe I'll return for more Toothy Fish soon. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.